The Wissekin has been around for many years, and so they have a good, long history of being really supportive of the community. They're proud of the space. They want to show their friends and family when they visit, and, and I'm glad about that, and I hope they embrace that for themselves. You're our guests, and we want you to feel comfortable in our, in our home. And it's just a handoff, so everyone is equally as important to make that, you know, guest experience. It's not about the foo-foo, you know, it's about, like, really doing a spa treatment that will enhance the quality of their life, even if it's for that 15 minutes, whatever that means to the person, not putting judgment on, is it going to make you better forever, or today, or tomorrow, whatever it means at that time, we're just going to do our best. Make that 15 minutes the best it can be, or 80, or whatever it is. Like, I hope that you're exposed to some different ideas that, that encompass the word wellness and that you can find what you're drawn to and perhaps keep practicing it or just keep experiencing it. But not say you're trying to get someplace, right? That was the whole point of wellness and I really still feel strongly about it and I try really hard to live that way. Like let's not talk about trying to get someplace, like really stay in the moment. And it's hard, it's really hard for me, it's hard for a lot of people to like stay there and say, Wellness isn't about where I'm trying to go, it's just trying to be here. Mm -hmm. I hope that's what people can do here, like they can relax, can decompress, and maybe have a moment to understand what they might want. I just wanted to help people have a better quality of life. I loved when I had my, one of my clients said, I'm retired now and I want to be able to go on the bus trips, and those bus steps are high, yes. and I don't want to fall, and I don't have good balance, can you help me? I love that. Wellness is more... Um, I thought about it then as being separation from mind and body, but as I've gone, gotten older, I think it's really mind. You know, I really feel like there's just this, um, your mind is, you have more control over your mind than you might think, and you can change, you can make changes, but it's based on your mind, and so I do think that people kind of focusing on this, having a little separation, they're happier, you know, because your body's going to change and you're not going not gonna to stop it. But you can keep growing with your mind. I really, really love to read about other people's experiences. I, it fuels me. And I just want to hear what your perspective is and how you got there and what you learned. And then I'm always able to, oh, that's great. I can learn that. I can take that. That's, that to me is a fuel. I think that's probably the reason why I stay in this business. I just love to talk to people about their journey and their experience. It's just getting another perspective, and I enjoy that. And that's what I hope that the staff will bring to the guests, too, because I don't want to make robots here. You know, it's not about us all being the same, but just bring your perspective and, and embrace it, whatever that is. You know, be proud of, who, of that part of you.